In the previous animation, we have shown you that data flows through four different stages. Data collecting, data storing, data processing and data reporting. In a default Umbraco installation, you have one web server and one database server. Collecting, processing and reporting takes place on the web server. The database server is responsible for data storage. When this web server or database server is too busy, it can affect the performance of your website. You can decide to use a different infrastructure. In this animation, we will demonstrate the different infrastructure setups for the U-Marketing Suite. We will look at the following situations. An external processing server, a load balance web server setup, and an external database server. By default, the U-Marketing Suite is configured like this. You can choose a different setup when you want to optimize the performance of your website. We start with a setup using an external processing server. By default, processing runs in the background on your web server. At a specific interval, it will try to fetch data to process. When your web server is already pretty busy with serving your website, you can decide to outsource the processing job to another web server. To do this, you should follow these steps. 1. Set up a new web server. 2. Set up the website with the U-Marketing Suite on this web server. 3. Change the configuration file on the original web server to these settings. By default, the key Disable Processing is set to false for web servers that are used for processing. Set it to true on the web servers that you want to exclude from processing. 4. Start the website on that server. By setting this up, you'll transform the base setup into the following setup. It is also possible to work with a separate processing server when you're running multiple websites with the U-Marketing Suite package installed on multiple servers. In a load balance setup, there are multiple web servers that run your website. The load balancer will send visitors to these different web servers by dividing the requests. Setting up the U-Marketing Suite so that it works in a load balanced environment is no problem. You won't have to change anything in the settings of the U-Marketing Suite. Of course, you'll have to set up the load balancing according to the Umbraco documentation. The third setup uses an external database server. By default, the U-Marketing Suite stores its data in the same database as the Umbraco website. However, you can also use another database or database server for storing the U-Marketing Suite data. To do this, you should follow these steps. 1. Create a new database on the same database server or on a new database server. 2. Specify a new connection string to this database in your web.config file. 3. Specify the name of this connection in the U-Marketing Suite configuration file. The setup looks like this. When you use this setup, all Umbraco tables will be stored in one database. All the U-Marketing Suite tables are stored in another database. As you've seen in this animation, there are several ways to set up the U-Marketing Suite infrastructure to tweak the performance for your specific environment. We now know how to move the processing job to an external server, to set up a load balanced environment and to move the storage to another database. You can combine these options for more complex situations. U-Marketing Suite always one step ahead of you. For more information about the U-Marketing Suite, visit umarketingsuite.com.